Okay, so Mark Dice decided he was going to do a video that I'm going to link you where he talks about the Illuminati using a, a fake coming back of Jesus sort of thing. By using projectile holograms and all that other crap. And they talked about Project Blue Beam, where they did, in all actual truth and in actual history, put up a hologram image of the Virgin Mary in the night sky. Now, the Turkish Prime Minister, I think it was, in order to give some speech to his uh, people, he used himself as a 10-foot hologram, and he talked to a whole bunch of people. I'm curious how this technology works, but in this day and age, using a hologram to, you know, Jesus has returned! Y yeah, it's not going to happen. And he also went into how, uh, supposedly, I can't confirm this for fact or not, they used a hologram to project an image of Allah in Iraq during the first Iraq war when they were trying to convince Allah, the people, to overthrow Saddam Hussein. In a third world country where people don't know what this shit is, yeah, that might work. In a first world nation like the United States, shit like that wouldn't work. Why? Because you look at the population, there's too many atheists out there. And plus, everyone knows what the whole hologram thing was, especially with that Tupac concert that happened recently. Yeah, that in modern days would just not work in any first world nation. It wouldn't. Maybe if you go to like tribal areas out in the boonies where the, the word technology is, what's that? Where they're still hunting things with fucking spears and shit. Maybe there you can convince people to do things. With damn holograms. Some places in Afghanistan still. I remember one of the uh, recruiters I talked to, he talked about when he went down to Afghanistan and uh, he had some guy with no legs come after him. With an AK and they, before he pulled off a single shot, they disarmed him and they asked him why he did that and all that other crap. He, he thought they were Soviets. <laughs> You just see how far behind the times a lot of these people in third world countries really are. But if there's any bit of semblance of what I would call civilization, something of the first world. I mean, like the Philippines, uh, Malaysia, they have several cities that are just as much metropolises as, you know, New York. They have hoods over here, they have super high-tech wealthy areas over here, all that other crap. In places like that, people would not fall for this crap. But you go out into the countries, yeah, a lot of people are going to fall for that. So this is really just my take on what would happen if they was to actually do this shit. And Mark Dice, from what I got from his video, was the talking points in case they would actually try this shit. He also brought up a bunch of patents and past history involving these this technology being used it won't work if they try it again not even in the united states with all these vitriolic psychopathic evangelical christians not even there i'm sure you get like five or six okay more like five or six hundred who'd believe it maybe the entire population of the amish some mennonite Ugh. But with the side, but aside from that, nah, 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 it wouldn't work in modern day times. Now I'm not saying Mark Dice said that they're gonna try and do it or anything of that nature, but I'm just saying this is how it'd go. Anyways, I got some smoke review videos that I need to upload, so I'm gonna go put that on my other channel after I'm done uploading this. I hope you all have a nice day, and uh, for the guys who watch this channel as well, I'm going to apologize. If your smoke review did not get put up for a while, for the cigars you sent me, you know what, I'll just leave that for the other channel. <laughs>